Hi guys! Today I'm here to present you and to have a comparison video between the Insta360 X3, the newest one from Insta360, with the GoPro Hero 11 and also as comparison a footage from the Samsung S21 Ultra which is the same as the S22 Ultra and my focus is on having a um, light um, camera for travels and for vlogs for making off stuff and the Insta360 has this new single lens mode which I tested and also the 360 mode um, and the GoPro Hero 11 with the new sensor um, with this bigger uh, format and also the S21 Ultra is the same like the S22 Ultra with the main sensor so check out the footage and come back and we will talk about what I have seen uh, on the video quality and what you have seen and what I like and what I will keep at the end after this comparison for my vlogging stuff. Okay. Now this is the test. I'm holding the cameras with both hands. They are next to each, each other. Uh, we have the Insta360 X3 in single lens mode 4K 30 frames per second and we have the GoPro in 4K 30 frames per second. Um, now, this is the quality with the sun from facing from the front and it's between the forest and now it's from the back. So remember single lens mode, um, 4K 30 frames per second, high bitrate and it's the GoPro Hero 11 and the uh, Insta360 X3. So now moving into the light. Uh, this is only to judge the quality of the video, no microphone or something is now important. <laughs> okay, so, and at the end I will move again to the sunlight, so we have all light situations. This is now around one hour before sunset, and this is now the sun directly from the front. Um, yeah. Okay, that was 4K 30 frames per second on both cameras um, and GoPro is in natural color and the Insta360 X3 in vibrant color mode. That's it, now go to the next. So, boy, the sun is quite uh, harsh. This is now uh, 5.3K on both cameras. Uh, it's uh, on the Insta360 X3, this is in 360 mode and I will need to um, use and to apply the, the angle so it's like in a vlogging style and on the GoPro we have 5.3k 30 frames per second uh, yeah with our uh, settings in 10 bit and high bit rate so both are 5.3k 30 frames per second so this is now moving in the nice sun from the front and now I'm going in the shadows here I'm I'm in the shadow now okay. and um, this is how it looks like in the shadow sun is still facing from the front and now I have the sun Coming from the back, it's uh, hiding behind the um, forest. So, yeah, I hope it's not too shaky. I need to hold it with both hands. And now I'm going in the light, and now we have the sunlight from behind. Again, this is the last hour of sunlight today. Okay, that's it. So now we have on the Insta360 X3 we have um, uh, HDR mode. Uh, I don't know where this is on the GoPro, maybe this is automatic or I forgot it. But on the Insta360 X3 we have um, HDR for the video mode and it's still in 5.3K, 
30 frames per second on the GoPro. We are now in the full sensor, 8x7, in 5.3K, 30 frames per second. So, quality with the sun facing from the front. Now I'm going to the left in the shadow. This is how it looks in the shadow. And going back now with the sun from behind. Uh, yeah. 5.3K on both cameras. Uh, HDR mode in the Insta360 X3 360. Mode. And now going back into the sun. Okay. Samsung S21 Ultra main lens, uh, which is uh, the biggest uh, sensor size. And here's the GoPro Hero 11 uh, in 5.3K, 10-bit uh, um, mode and highest bitrate. And the Samsung is in 4K, 30 frames per second. So, um, yesterday when I did check it at uh, low light condition, the phone was better. It was better than the GoPro. So, how it is today? Uh, let's move a little bit in the shadows. Here we are still in the light. Yeah, I know you have the shadow uh, of the phone in my face, but uh, doesn't matter. So, now I'm going into the light, uh, into the shadow. <laughs> and how does it look now? We have the GoPro Hero 11 against the Samsung S21 Ultra. It's the same sensor and the same lens as in the S22 Ultra. So no difference if you are thinking which phone should you get. This is the light still from the front. Uh, I try to get it. Yeah, hope this angle is okay. And now going back and I have the sun behind me. We are in the shadows. So uh, I'm curious uh, which one is better. Or which one is good and now let's go in in the sun now we have the sun from the back and it's really nice light soft light okay this was samsung s21 ultra 4k 30 frames per second gopro hero 11 5.3k 30 frames per second Okay, let's talk about the footage you have seen and about what I have seen in the yeah, in the footage because the quality from the um, data I had in 5.3K, in 4K and watching it on the um, display at home is another thing than what you can see with YouTube compression and because of my workstation at the moment I was forced to convert the 4K footage and the 5.3K to full HD. So what you see now is in full HD uh, and it's not the same quality of details. Yeah, that's why you can judge a little bit, but um, I can judge better. So you have to trust my opinion if you want. Um, I was the thing with the Insta360 X3. Let's let's start with the um, with this one. So get this best set. Okay, this is the cam here. Yeah. Um, the thing is, I was when I when I saw the um, promo video, I was deeply impressed because um, you had this very nice stuff with this 360 uh, stuff um, with a lot of action if you want and if you're into it and this nice display which is uh, really cool uh, the build quality is um, is awesome and good battery life it looked like the perfect package um, and you have also this single lens mode you can choose between the front lens or the um, lens on the back and I was thinking, okay, perfect. I have here the 360 cam and also with the front lens for vlogging. 
and I've tested it uh, several times now and what you have seen now was at best uh, sunlight, at best light conditions and I've also seen it um, when it was cloudy, when it was darker and I didn't like the 4K 30 frames per second single lens mode from this cam. The 5.3K in 360 mode is much better, the quality is better, I don't know why. Um, maybe in 4K they read an, another part of the sensor, it, they couldn't interpret the data. Um, but yeah, I was not convinced by the by the single lens mode and I like um, to have this possibility of a 360 cam but it's not so important as it is for me the vlogging stuff so that's the reason why I think I'm not gonna keep it um, because the vlogging stuff is not good enough in quality. You can see it in the video footage, it was the structure in the glass, in the, in the background, sometimes on the skin, the skin tones and I hope I have it and I can show you maybe another video. Uh, I forgot I wanted to have the single lens mode also, Insta360 single lens mode, 4K, 30 frames per second, uh, just a front facing lens directly facing to me. This is now a simple comparison, it's the first comparison of the GoPro Hero 11 uh, VS the Insta360 X3. The quality when it's getting darker or this, uh, when it's cloudy of the single lens mode is just not good. And I don't want to have maybe a better quality in 360 mode because every time I want to show you a video uh, and this is just action cam, it should be something like run and gun stuff and just um, having a video and maybe put it directly on Insta or um, on YouTube whatever without a lot of processing or um, whatever or editing. So when you have it in 360 mode you have to get the Insta360 software, you have to go to the software, you have to say okay I want the the, um, the cam, the, the cam, the focus of the image be on my face and every time I'm uh, rotating um, the cam is rotating the image so I have to set this anchor points and uh, bring it back on my face. So I have to come home but uh, put all the files on the phone or on, on my computer, um, adapt it in 360 software and then I have my maybe vlogging stuff. It's okay, but it's not good enough for me. Um, yeah, that's the reason why I think this is not the cam for me. For me, for my needs. Maybe for you it should be fine or really good. And this is the classic GoPro. I had the um, GoPro Hero 4, 8 and now the 11. My 8 was destroyed and I'm searching for a new one. And I was thinking, yeah, GoPro, same, sorry for the um, same shit. <laughs> it's same form factor, just a camera, but I like the front display. Yeah, mm, you ha had it already in the 9, in the 10, and now in the 11. I like this bigger mm, format of the sensor, 8x7. Um, it's very nice for um, Insta, for TikTok, and also for YouTube for some comparison side by side. And I do like the quality of the GoPro more than the quality of the single lens mode and also of the 360 5.3K mode. I like the go uh, quality of the GoPro more. It's the, the dynamic range is better, um, the skin tones are better in my opinion and this is this, everything was done without a lot of settings. This was quite an automatic mode and I'm not really used to the new cameras. These are just some days old, both of them. Um, and I will learn more about the GoPro. But I think I like the GoPro because 
when I'm doing my vlogging, I can put the cam, place it in, um, in, in my direction. So you have my emotions and my feelings and everything. And, uh, you have my face and if I want to show you something, I am creating content and I say, okay, check it out here on the right, on the left, on the top. I'm, I'm moving my GoPro. With the Insta360 you have the um, possibility that just to have it on a stick above you and you can record everything and show it later in, um, after adaption the software. But this is a little bit um, more workflow intense. So I was thinking about it but I'm still not used to have like a cam on a um, um, on this, um, it's not a tripod, it's yes, on the monopod and having it behind me so I have on the whole scenery um, yeah the, um, the size from this two, you can have it here the GoPro is still more compact it's a little bit thicker but you see it's more compact, compact and it's more practical uh, to have it in one hand and to have this uh, screen when you have this on the um, on the monopod or uh, something on a stick it's uh, a little bit taller but yeah this is nothing to do with the quality it, it is just for me so yeah this is my video <laughs> and, and, my, and my opinion about it so um, at the moment I like the GoPro more um, I'm curious what you think about it maybe you can leave some comments and maybe you also have the GoPro or the Insta360, I can share something. Um, the main problem with this was the single lens mode uh, with cloudy weather, um, with low light and this is why I like this more and I also don't like the editing um, on, on this one because it costs more time. So. Uh, this is it, is it for now. I will do more comparison tests. Uh, maybe you can leave a comment if you are interested in a special comparison. Now I come to the end. I hope it was not too long and uh, not boring for you. Yeah, see you next time. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, bye bye.